hi guys and welcome back to my channel how have you guys been i hope you guys have been doing well i hope you guys are having a blessed and great and wonderfully amazingly awesome week because i am as always by the grace of god so i'm starting a new segment on my channel where we're going to talk about scriptures um according to my perspective according to how i see it so and it's going to be like a little motivational for the week you know if you guys are struggling with anything so i hope you guys enjoy this segment and let's get right into the video so we're going to start this reading with a prayer in order to understand it how god wants us to perceive it so I always read this common scripture. If you watch my last video, I'll talk about it. My mom gave it to me. It really helps me a lot. So the spirit of the living God, I ask you for the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Open my eyes for understanding the knowledge of you, as well as your written word. Give me eyes that see and perceive, ears that hear and understand, and a wise and understanding heart. And Lord Jesus Christ, let your will be done. And whoever is watching this video, take control, have your way in this prayer session. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So today we're gonna to talk about the scripture um ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 21 so i'm going to read the whole thing then explain it um how i see i hope you guys enjoy it and get some tips from there and uh y'all can comment down below how you guys understand or perceive the scripture because my perspective is not like the law you know there are different ways to see the scripture you know so just tell me let's get right into the reading i hope you enjoy so the book of ecclesiastes was written by king solomon david's son um, he was the wisest man, like the wisest king to ever live, you know, so he wrote, he even wrote the book of Proverbs, you know, so let's grasp, grasp some wisdom, you know, from this word. So Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, I read, For everything there is a season, a time for every activity on the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance, a time to sc scatter stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to turn away, a time to search and a time to quit searching, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be quiet and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. That's from verse one to eight. So I'm gonna stop here for a second and go to the next part. So you see each situation is like a parallel of each other, like a time to laugh and a time to cry, a time to plan and a time to heal. So the way I understand it is that it's, it's obviously a good and a bad side to everything. You know, this whole world, like every situation there is a good and a bad like i know some of you have heard like this comment saying there's a time and a reason for everything you know there's a there's a season for everything there's a season to plant there's a season to reap there's a season to harvest you know that's basically what he's saying in this one and i'm gonna get, get go on to the next the next part is from verse 9 to 15. <laughs> what do people really get from all their hard work i have seen the burden god has placed on us all yeah, God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart. <clears throat> but even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. So I conclude that there is nothing better than to be happy and enjoy, and enjoy ourselves as long as we can. People should eat and drink and enjoy the fruits of their labor for their gifts from God. And I know that whatever God does is final. Nothing can be added to it or taken away from it. God's purpose is for is God's purpose is that people should fear him. What is happening now has been done before, and what will happen in the future has been done before. Because God makes the same things happen over and over and over again. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. And you guys please don't forget to comment what you guys get from the scripture too. You know, you don't have to like um, dwell on my own understanding it's like um a give and take you know i also want to learn from what y'all are getting from the scriptures too and it's always good to come to like a to a new reading with an open mind and every time you read the scripture you always get you don't get the same thing over and over again 
life may seem like a burden sometimes but it doesn't last forever because there's a time and a season for everything you know there's a reason for every single thing so you may seem down right now you know you may think there's like the, the tom you may think tomorrow is never gonna come you know but then there's this one scripture in the bible that says joy comes in the morning you know that's basically what i got from that last segment you know there's a time to kill there's a time to heal there's a time to this there's a time to that you know there's always a good and a bad to every single situation and we know that we learn from each and every single one of these situations that we go through in life the verse that stood out to me a lot was verse 11 where it said yet god has made everything beautiful for its own time a few days ago i asked myself like i was in church i was like this question this random question just came to me like why was i born on this day or why are people born in a specific day a specific time for example why is somebody born in on a wednesday at 5 a.m june 1992 you know i'm like why like i just the random question i don't know why these thoughts just come to me but god always answers my question and this particular scripture answers it you know yet god has made everything beautiful for its own time you know you're here for a reason you're watching this video for a reason or you're standing by that bus stop for a reason i'm sitting here for a reason because i made beautiful in my own time you know though the times may not all seem beautiful but it is there for a reason that product the end product is the, is going to be beautiful because god has made you in your own time to be beautiful and to shine another part of the scripture that stood out to me was verse 13 where it says um people should eat drink and enjoy the fruits of their labor solomon didn't just end there he also talked about like the last part is key to me people should eat drink and enjoy the fruit of your labor because it is a gift from god everything that we do everything that we own on this planet you know is from god it's a gift from god so whatever you're feeling down or the job that you have at the school the classes that you're taking you know they feel like they're they, they they mean nothing just keep working you know just enjoy it in the end just persevere and just know that it will be beautiful in time because it's a gift from god also so though god made you in this time it's supposed to be all beautiful no it's not you know because like i said life is hard if you watch my last video i said life was hard and god gives us strength to go through these um problems so basically god has made you in this time though there's a good and a bad side to it in the end like i said it's all going to be worth it because it's a gift from god like solomon said eat drink and enjoy the fruits of your labor because it is a gift from god so whatever you're doing right now just keep pushing what is the school the classes that you're taking just keep going because in the end it's going to be beautiful because you are made by god in your own time to be beautiful and it's a gift from him and don't we all love gifts yes yes we do and comes verse 14 verse 14 says god's purpose is for humans to fear him and some people see fear as like oh my gosh you know we should be scared of him because he's this he's that he's strict and stuff like that that's probably why like some people are scared well i don't want to say scared to become christians or they just don't want to like or they just see christianity as something like very strict and they just see god as a mean person sometimes which is the total opposite god is love god is warm god is the best thing that could ever happen to you you know he's just everything he wants you to fear him he wants you to adore him he wants you to boast about him he wants you to reverence him he wants you to most of all love him because he is love you know he gives us love but he also wants love you know who doesn't want love and this is, god just wants us to love him and that is the best gift you can ever give to god because god has given you the gift of life and he loves you on top of that and the one thing you can do for him is just love him and you love him by doing god's work i don't really know there's no definition of like god's work but just be loved like the definition of god's work is just loving the people around you loving him and then loving yourself you know that is basically basically what that means all right guys so we've come to the end of this part of ecclesiastes chapter three because there is 22 verses in this part so i'm just gonna do the first part so next time in my next video we're gonna do the rest of it and i think it's gonna be really brief and short because it's gonna be from i was gonna say episode verse um 16 to 22 the one thing you can get from this reading is though you may feel down sometimes you know there's the upsides and the downsides of things during that period where you feel down you know don't feel like you're worthless or that particular emotion that that emotion doesn't last forever you know the only thing that lasts forever is the truth and the truth comes from the word of god the word of god says 
God has made everything beautiful in its own time, you know. Just the one thing you can take from this reading or this whole scripture, this whole talk, Bible studies, is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 that says God has made everything beautiful for its own time. So don't give up. You're beautiful. You're worth it. And remember, a joyful heart attracts the kingdom of God. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, share it to a friend, and come back again the next time. And I just want to say thank you for to my previous subscribers like my old subscribers for um sticking with me though i haven't posted a video like in a whole while since last year i'm back right now and by god's grace we're gonna keep soaring and give me some suggestions down in the comments what to do you know how you if you actually got anything new from here you know and um until next time bye guys love y'all